Hello, episode three, Swansea City Save, Football Manager 17 Beta. Right, before we crack on with the episode, what has social media been saying? So many injuries! Hello and welcome back to episode three of the Swansea City Save on Football Manager 2017 Beta. Here we are then on the home page. As we can see from the league table, it's not gone overly well since the last game. Um, we've only lost one game, but we've also drawn the other two. We'll go and look at those results now. So go into the schedule. Here we are. Obviously, we we beat Burnley 3-1. We beat Middlesbrough 1-0 on the last video. We beat Fulham on penalties in the EFL Cup second round. Um, pretty decent. I played a few of the new guys and a bit of a reserve team. Not too bad. Went to Bournemouth and drew 1-1. Went away to Crystal Palace and lost 2-1. Played Hull at the Liberty Stadium and drew one all. Just played Man United in the EFL Cup third round and got knocked out on penalties. Basically, we went to a 4-4-2 to change it up and fit some of the newer guys in. Our board aren't really fussed about the EFL. So we went there, got to one all after 90 minutes, and I basically just went defensive, played for penalties, hoping the side would get through. And uh, Leroy Britton missed his penalty, so we got knocked out. Not really much we could do about that. I told the guys I was happy with their performance. It was, you know, penalties are a lottery, blah, blah, blah. But we are back for the next game, which is Man United again. However, we drew 1-1 and lost on penalties when they pretty much paid their reserve team. And now they've got Ibrahimovic, Juan Mata. Although apparently they're going to play Wayne Rooney as well, but, you know, I don't really know. Um, we'll just have to see how that goes. Paul Pogba is out with an injury. We have also had our fair share of injuries. Moda Barrow is injured. Nathan Dyer is just coming back from an injury but won't be available for today's game. Leroy Fur is also injured. Fabianski's back, so that's a positive in all of this. But we'll crack on into the game. So I'll see you on the game screen page. And then after that, we will, oh, obviously as well. Sorry, we're going to do the Everton game as well. But, oh my God, what a run of fixtures. Man United, Everton, Chelsea, Arsenal. Oh. Relegation zone, here we come. But, other things to report on. Transfers, other people that have come in. We have one more signing, which is Alejandro Adibas. Um, another centre-back. For some reason, everyone in the club was moaning that we don't have enough defenders. Sent my scouts out, they found this guy. He's decent, he's good. Um, overpaid for him. 12.5, he's worth 10.2, 10.75. He's only played one game, which was the Man United League Cup game, which has just gone. So he'll probably get a rest for this. But there's interest in Jordi Amat, so it could be quite useful that we've got him in. PSG made a bid on deadline day, and I rejected it because I didn't really want to get rid of him. But I'm not sure. I don't know why he's getting such interest. I mean, he's not brilliant, and he's got... Man United, uh, Man City and PSG after him so it was believed that Matt's preferred choice would be Man City excellent but yeah we'll get into the game I'll see you on the game day screen ok welcome back so here we are this is how we line up behind my head we have Fabianski in goal Kyle Norton, Lascelles, Amat and Taylor are back four Sigurdsson, Kiesa and Young are the middle two Routledge, Bojan and Montero are the front three behind Lorente as a target man. Man United line up like that and it looks pretty spectacular. Um, weakest player there? Probably Wayne Rooney. Looks like Darmian's going to be quite attacking so Montero might get a bit of joy on the wing. Mkhitaryan, I didn't think he was normally... Oh yeah, okay. Favoured, but yeah, he can play all of those. I would have said he's a number 10 behind the striker, but okay. Lots of uh, yeah pace with Martial and Luke Shaw. Well, it's going to be a very hard game. Hopefully, we can dictate them. I mean, Ibrahimovic is deadly. We all know that. But maybe Bojan can pick up some pockets of spaces. Well, pockets of spaces? Pockets of space in between their lines. But let's let's wait and see. I'm going to assume he's going to tell us. That, oh, no. He only says hard tackling on Ibrahimovic. But we're going to also hard tackle Wayne Rooney. Um, we're going to close him down because his first touch is awful. I haven't even checked his stats, but I'm going on real life. And we'll tightly mark Latan. Um, 
what else should we do? We're actually going to close down their centre backs. Try and put them under a bit of pressure. See what happens. Into the team talk. We are at home, but I'm just going to say, yeah, we're the underdogs. Oh my, who's that? Bojan. Oh, he probably shouldn't be playing. Oh yeah, in the press conference as well. Um, Bojan's just come back from injury, so in the press conference I said no, he's. I'm ruling out. He's definitely not playing, and then I put him straight into the starting lineup. So we'll have to see how that goes. I'm just going to passionately tell them all I have faith, which probably isn't going to work after telling them that we're underdogs. We're not changing too much. I'm going to see how it starts, and then we might go to counter uh, and mix the mentality up and things like that. But anyway, here they come, walking out of the tunnel. Oh, I love. I do love this first bit, this first graphics. I think they're really good. I know I've mentioned that before, but anyway, we kick off, and straight away we're getting our short passing going. So, we've won the wall back, Taylor's put it up field, Lorente gave it to Bojan, who's found Montero, who's come in field, good tackle from Smalling, but Sigurdsson into Routledge, Routledge shoots and De Gea, couldn't keep it out, and we have a very surprising 1-0 lead at home to Man United. This is a good start, very good start, Montero brought it along, great tackle from Smalling, but Siggy was pounced on it, he's gone into Routledge, the shot was just too powerful for De Gea, I'm guessing that's what happened, and he sort of palmed it into the bottom corner, and it's 1-0, and this puts me in some sort of conundrum because I never know what to do when you're 1-0 up against the bigger team because the tactics are clearly working and Siggy with a free kick oh and it's come off the bar or a save and Jordi Matt's been flagged offside oh we're playing we're bossing the possession we've had more shots we've had more on target and we've got to half time 1-0 up and this is a great performance so far oh uh, I've, I've just got to say I'm happy I can't really say anything else. I mean, Mourinho is going to give them an absolute bollocking. But that's all I'm going to say, and hopefully we can keep this up. So, I don't really know. I hope everyone is enjoying Football Manager 17 so far. If you are, let me know in the comments who you are and what you've done so far on your team, who you've signed, places like that. We look like we're about to be countered um, quite impressively. Oh, Siggy. Beautiful stuff. Just boot it away. Up, up the line. Get it away. That's a t oh, it's worked well. Well, Montero finds Lorente. Bojan's running ahead of him. It's Bojan. Bojan's in. Bojan scores. He's beaten De Gea, and it is two nil. Oh, Bojan Kurtic, you lovely little man. Two nil up. Great football that Lorente. Great little dink over the top. I think that's Eric Bai. Couldn't couldn't match the run of Bojan. Left footed. De Gea should probably do better. He's I don't know. He should definitely save that, but. This is superb. 2-0 up against Man United. Wow. I was not expecting this. Look at those over Drayton's. We are playing very, very well. And I don't really want to change anything. Okay, so on to the next highlight. Neil Taylor with a throw to Amat. Ki Sung Young. Back to Lascelles. I mean, we are keeping it very well. But my worry is when they attack like this, because they've got the pace. Ashley Young, who's on the transfer list and I was interested in buying him, is tackled, so I'm glad I didn't. And I'm at just hoofs it. It's come through the De Gea. Long ball forward, Ibrahimovic gets beaten in the air. And Herrera to Mata. They're passing it around well. Norton, Kiesel, Young didn't get his clearance. That's got to be a goal. Oh, Ibr Fabianski. What a save. To keep his clean sheet. He is desperate for that clean sheet. Mata swings it in. Ziggy at the near post heads it away. I think I'm going to have to change formation. Although we've still got more possession than them. I don't really want to give up the possession at this point. Right, it's five minutes to go. Damian with a throw. We've not made any subs yet. Damian into Mata. Herrera. Outward to Young. Ibrahimovic. And it's over the bar. And I'm going to use that as a sign that I need to change things. So, I mean, Bojan is absolutely shattered. So, Jack Cork on for Bojan. And he's going to sit in behind. And I'm actually going to drop... How's Montero? Montero's pretty knackered, so... I'm actually going to play Kingsley as a defensive winger on defend. We're going to change Taylor to defend. We're going to change Norton to defend. Jack Cork can sit in there on defend. And Routledge can drop. Uh, he can stay as a winger. I know it's a bit diagonal and a bit lopsided, but we do need some sort of outlet. And Ki Sung Young is actually going to come off for yeah, Leon Britton and we're going to go ultra defensive what I'm doing is I'm doing basically what Mourinho's done or did sorry against actually which one of those can play as an anchor man there we go yeah, different player. yeah 
That'll do. I mean, Lorente is going to be so isolated, but at the moment, I don't really mind. Defensive, structured, instructions will be slightly deeper. Stay on feet, be more disciplined, shorter pass and retain possession. Player defence, frequently waste time, much lower tempo, stick to positions, hit early crosses. And that is hopefully how we see out a win. So let's hope my tactical jiggery poker doesn't completely mess this up. But we're going into injury time and maybe I just need the camera on. Routledge puts it in and Shaw gets it away. And that is a 2-0 win against Manchester United. And I am absolutely delighted. That was amazing. I cannot wait to see what Twitter says. That was something really special, boys. Really, really good. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll, you can watch my tunnel interview. There was obviously Swansea shoot right up the table. You've got to be happy with that. I'm pleased, yes, it's nice to keep moving in a positive direction. Hopefully we can maintain it. Happy to say that. One question. A one-question interview. That's what we like. Up to sixth. Really good. Sunderland have dropped down to 12th. We'll have a bit of Sunderland watch as well after they were top after the first two games. But yeah, into sixth. Let's have a quick check of the social feed. Swansea take the spores and a ding-dong battle. Positive result, that. Good stuff. Cheers, Ed Brewster. Absolutely delighted with that. Unbelievable result. Pretty happy about all the things considered. Chuffed. An excellent goal by Bojan. There it is. BBC Sport presenting it. Anyway, excellent stuff. Delighted Bojan got his goal. Now, we will see... Well, who's next? Isn't it? Everton. Everton away. That will be a tougher game, but I'll see you there. Okay, welcome back. Here we are at the second game. We are playing away at Everton. They line up in a 4-2-3-1, similar to us, but with two deep-lying uh, midfielders. We keep the same formation, but I've changed it to a sort of counter-attacking formation. What our scout report said before the game was that they're going to press us um, and close, basically have a pressing style of closing down. So what I've done is changed us to standard flexible and then told us to clear the ball to the flanks and play a bit more direct passing, hopefully to just ne totally negate their um, closing down. We line up, as I said, same formation before, same players, which is Fabianski, Norton, Lascelles, Amat, Taylor, Kiesel, Young, Sigurdsson, Routledge, Bojan, Montero and Lorente. Only change on the bench, Nathan Dar is now fit enough for the bench, so he replaces Di Natale. But let's get into the game, really. We'll see what he wants to do. He wants to go hard in on Lukaku. Yeah, I'm also going to go hard in on Valassi and Enna Valencia. And again, I think we'll close down their centre-backs and see see what that does. Again, seemed to work last time, I guess. On to the team talk. Let's uh, calmly go out there and say, pick up where you left off last time. Keep it going. Keep it going, lads. If you're interested, so this is what we're doing. We've dropped slightly deeper, clearing the ball to the flanks, more direct passing, still telling them to get stuck in. And we've reduced the tempo from higher to normal. But off we go. We have the lineups. This one always reminds me of the bit on Provo where they line up and just go like that. And it looks really weird. I'm a big Provo fan, by the way, even though I have bought FIFA for the PC, so I might be doing a FIFA series. But I'll tell you to keep an eye out for that if I do it. Not sure yet. As I said, I've got a bit of a hectic life work balance going on at the moment. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, Siggy with a free kick on the edge of the box. Oh, and he's hit the bar. Oh, I think that's two in a row, isn't it? Two games in a row. I'm pretty sure he hit the bar, or don't dare hey, mate have saved it in the last one. Leighton Baines swings it in. Routledge heads it away. Up to Bojan. Bojan with a direct pass to no one. But Keith and Young ones the header gets it back. Bojan to Lorente. Routledge. Infield to Lorente. To Bojan. There's no that many runs off him. Keith and Young. Montero. Come in field from that left wing again. He's had a pop from the edge of the box and it's gone just over the bar. Not not a bad effort. Not bad. We're still dominating the possession, which is good. And we're not giving too many fouls away, even though I'm telling him to get stuck in. Which, as I just say that, Sigurdsson picks up a yellow card. But Everton come on the attack with Ross Barkley. Valencia crosses it in. It's fallen to Lukaku on the left foot of his. Volleyed in. On the half volley, I think it was. Beats Fabianski. Not really any chance with the goalkeeper from there. As we see it in... The wonders of a replay. Balassi gets up, wins the header. Lukaku just off the bounce on the half volley. Good finish. I still think we can get into this game. I'd say we've had the majority of the possession. I haven't had a shot on target yet, which is a concern. 
we might have to if we're already getting the possession we might just have to tell the boys to retain it a bit Leighton Baines free kick into the wall Seamus Coleman I thought might have been given a penalty but Bojan's got onto this clearance and is he through? He is. he's got to the byline crossed to the back post Wayne Routledge oh Stecklenberg I thought had taken it in his net bloody hell well that's half time and Lukaku's strike is what separates us at the moment defence aren't having the best of games so I'm we're going to switch um, in here in my overview we'll switch back to our original formation and we'll just try and control the, well as it says mentality try and control the game a little bit more really I think we if we keep going out there yeah I feel like if we do if we keep going retain the ball a bit better which is what I've changed the formation to we can create some more chances and hopefully put at least one of them away and stop Everton scoring another so was that not a pass back that looked very much like a pass back must have been a Lorente rubbish ball Norton with a long throw headed away by McCarthy Norton gets there but he's gone straight to Garner uh, I assume that's Idris Gay. Lukaku brings it away Back to Gay again. Oh, it's a lovely ball to Coleman. Good save, Fabianski. Two strong hands to it. It's, yeah, the, my worry is that Everton will just play on the counter now. Uh, Yannick Balassi crossed in and Jamal LaSalle gets it away. We'll have to see how we can mix that. Might have to go 4-4-2 and get a bit more of a presence up front. Give some support to Lore Lore Lorente. Sorry. Uh, Jagielka then out to Valencia and Valencia on the right wing crosses it in Lukaku at the near post that's forced my hand I don't care if we lose 6-0 I'd rather actually go for it so what we're going to do who's not playing for all yet Bojan off a of Borja Baston Lorente there Bojan up front Sigurdsson can stay on because he's pretty much our only playmaker um, Montero's not having a great game so Dyer coming back from injury can come on and play on the wing and we'll go from there four so yeah four four two gives that two men up front and uh just have to see how that goes i guess as i said i'd rather go out swinging as they say rather than just humbled by a defeat let's at least go out on the attack and lukaku's done well to get in front of fabianski bit disappointed that there wasn't a defender in the way but i don't know let's see how this four four two goes now hopefully we can press on a bit uh, we're actually playing with a shadow striker. Why not? We'll have three people up there all out on attack. Jack Cork can come on and we'll play this wide wide diamond formation. We'll go on to attack and we'll play fluidly. Let's let's get it going. We haven't been completely outplayed. We've had well seven less shots than them, which is quite a lot. It's just the most majority of our shots have been off target, which is really disappointing. If especially as you think how we played against Man United. Maybe I shouldn't have changed it from the off, but... Oh well, hindsight's a wonderful thing. And look, Fabianski's had a shocker and Lukaku's hit the post. I mean, could very easily have been his hat-trick. This will be it. This will be the end of the game. And it's going to be our first loss... Of, no, second loss of the season. First loss in the league. So, I mean, Everton are doing well. They're fourth. So, um, let's let him take it, wasn't it? Neil Taylor wasn't really interested about that. Looking frustrated. So... Drop out. Oh, it's far too early to be worrying about that. Um, I'm just going to say we want to win every match. Not bad. We're still in eighth. Um, Sunderland watch. They've dropped a place to 13th. I think it's pretty good. I mean, Everton are up in third. Watford. Watford. Bloody hell. Who have they been playing? I'm not going to turn this into a Watford. Where am I going? Schedule. There it is. Have they beaten anyone? Hull, Bournemouth. Have they beat Everton in the Cup? Burnley, Middlesbrough. Oh, they've had quite an easy run, actually, at the beginning. They've got Man United next, which will be tough. So, uh, right, before we go... Oh, what's he saying? Uh, oh, okay, yeah, excellent. Well, before we go, I will quickly show you our staff. So we've made some improvements. I mean, scouting still isn't the best. I've got space for a data analyst and a director of football, which I'll probably hire. Coaching wise, got good goalkeepers in, got two goalkeeping coaches in, and we got. I got coaching for everything, but really, we're still struggling tactically, and defence, we're the worst, even though it's not actually too bad. Physios are alright, scouts are still lagging behind the rest, but not much I can do about that. I've hired the best scouts I could. So, really, it's on the up. Swansea are on the up, the board are happy with us. Um, 
I'm not going to bother doing that press conference now. I'll do that afterwards. Thank you very much for watching. Please drop a like if you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you want more Football Manager 2017 videos because, again, I'm going to do them as often as I can. And, really, I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any feedback, any comments you want to leave, leave them below. And I'll catch you guys in a bit. Cheers.